St. Gregory of Nyssa, Byzantine philosopher and theologian. St. Gregory of Nyssa, or in Latin, Gregorius Nicinius, born circa 335 Caesarea in Cappadocia, Asia Minor, now Caesarea, Turkey, died circa 394, feast day, March 9th. <clears throat> Philosophical theologian and mystic, leader of the Orthodox party in the 4th century, century Christian controversies over the doctrine of the Trinity. Primarily a scholar, he wrote many theological, mystical, and monastic works in which he balanced Platonic and Christian traditions. A younger son of a distinguished family, Gregory was educated in his native prov province, but was more deeply influenced by his philosophical training than by the other two Cappadocian fathers of the church, his brother, St. Basil of Caesarea, <clears throat> and their friend, St. Gregory of Nazanius. He began his adult life as a teacher of rhetoric and may have been married, although several references that suggest this are capable of a different interpretation. And the strictures on marriage in his treatise, treatise on virginity seem to imply the contrary. In the 360s, he turned to the religious studies and his Christian devotion, perhaps even to the monastic life under Basil's inspiration and guidance as part of Basil's struggle with Bishop Anthemus of Tyana, whose city became the metropolis, civil and therefore ecclesiastical capital, ecclesiastical capital of the Western Cappadocia in 372, Gregory was consecrated as Bishop of Nyssa, 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 a small city in the in the new province of Cappadocia Secunda, <clears throat> which Basil wished to retain in his ecclesiastical jurisdiction. In 375, however, Gregory was accused of male administration by the provincial governor as part of the <laughs> Arian Zing campaign of the Roman Emperor villains, an attempt to force the church to accept the views of the heretic Arius, who denied the divinity of Christ. Gregory was deposed in 376 by a synod of bishops and banished. But on Valens' death in 378, Gregory's congregation welcomed, welcomed him back enthusiastically. <clears throat> Though Basil had considered him unsuited for ecclesiastical diplomacy after Gregory's return to his dio diocese. <clears throat> he, was an act he was active in the settlement of the church affairs in the years that followed in 379. Though Basil had considered him unsuited for ecclesiastical di diplomacy, after Gregory's return to his diocese, he was active in the settlement of the church affairs in the years that followed. In 379, he attended a council at Antioch and was sent on a special mission to the churches of Arabia, an example, Transjordan. His visit to Jerusalem on, his, on this occasion left him with a dislike for an increasing, increasingly fashionable pilgrimages, an opinion he expressed Vigor, vigorously in one of his letters. In 381, he took part in General Second Ecumenical Council of Constantinople and was recognized by Emperor Theodosius as one of the leaders of the Orthodox Communion in Cappadocia. Along with Basil's successor at Caesarea, Gregory declined election to the important bish, bishopric of Sabat. Sebast. However, the care of his small diocese left him free to preach at Constantinople on such a special on such special occasions as the funerals of Theodosius's wife and daughter. Under the unlearned ne Nectarius, the successor of the Gregory of Nazanius at Constantinople, Gregory of Nyssa, Nyssa 
was the leading Orthodox theologian of the church in Asia Minor and the struggle against the Arians. Gregory was primarily a scholar <clears throat> whose chief contribution lay in his writings, besides controversial replies to heretics, particularly the Arians, in which formulated the doctrine of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that emerged as a clear and cogent answer to the Arian question. He completed Basil's Hex, Hexameron, the six days, the sermons on the days of creation with the creation of man. And he produced a classic outline of orthodox theology in his great catechesis uh, or address on religious instruction. The latter work in, is especially notable for developing systematically the place of the sacraments in the Christian view of restoration of the image of God in human nature, lost through sin and the fall of Adam. His brief treatise on not three gods relates the Cappadocian fathers. Theology, ugh, his brief treatise on not three gods relates the Cappadocian fathers' theology of the three persons and the Godhead. An example of the Trinity to Plato's teachings of the one and the many. As a Christian Pla Platonist, Gregory followed the great Alexandrian theologian Origen, though not slavishly. Most notably, he shared Origen's conviction, conviction that humanity's material nature is a result of the fall, and also Origen's hope for ultimate and for, and also Origen's hope for ultimate universal salvation. In imitation of Plato's Phidio, <clears throat> Gregory presented his teaching on a resurrection in the form of a deathbed conversation with his sister, the abbess Macrina. Platonic and Christian inspiration combine in Gregory's ascetic and mystical teachings, which have been influential in the, devotion, in the devotional traditions of the Eastern Orthodox Church and indirectly of the Western Church. His life of Macrina blends biography with instruction in the monastic life on virginity and other treatises on the ascetic life are crowned by the mystical life of moses which treats the 13th century bce journey of the hebrews from egypt to mount sinai is a pattern of progress of the soul through the temptations of the world to a vision of god a notable emphasis of gregory's teaching is the principle that he, that the spiritual life is not one of static perf perfection, but of constant progress. His greatest achievement is his remarku remarkably balanced synthesis of Hel Hellenic, Greek, and Christian traditions. In an age when both were representative by vigorous and acute minds, Gregory did not, however, neglect his practical and pastoral duties, as is attested by his preserved letters and sermons. Many of the latter were written in praise of the saints venerated in Cappadocia, or to celebrate the great days of the church year. Others, such as Gregory's attacks on usury and on the postponement of baptism, deal with ethical problems of the church in his time. His more intimate discourses on the Lord's Prayer and the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 3 through 12, combine ethical and devotional interests. <clears throat> as does his commentary on the Song of Solomon. Gregory disliked attending gatherings of bishops, but was periodically invited to preach at such occasions. His last public appearance was at the Council of Constantinople. Gregory's ecclesiastical career was less successful than those of Basil and Gregory of Nazanius, but his work as a scholar and writer was creative. And in the 20th century, it was rescued from un deserved neglect yeah he's uh he's pretty important he's one of the big three again of the cappadocian fathers his brother saint basil the great and saint gregory who both <laughs> wound up being saints um saint gregory of nazanius is somebody i don't know a lot about um maybe you know in the future I'll be able to get him to him some more um, but this gives a good background on somebody I've done several videos on as well. Um, like, just like his brother, St. Basil the Great, who were both, um, big on the 
theology of the church and bringing bringing light to a lot of the things that happen with the church and the need for you know ecclesiastical traditions and having it move forward within the church so he was a major influence in the theology just like a saint gregory palamas was um and you know keeping it keeping it simple and keeping it to the point where you know he was a byzantine philosopher and theologian and that's the most simplest way to sum him up so there it is <laughs>